it's Laura. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Today I have another round of monthly favorites for the month of March. I can't believe it's almost April. March I feel like has just completely flown by. So anyways, if y'all want to see what I was loving this month, go ahead and keep on watching. I usually start with makeup, but I'm gonna start with lifestyle and skincare. So my first lifestyle product, well, my only lifestyle product I have is these Lara bars or Lara bars. I have been really enjoying these. I get these at my natural grocers. I really like the lemon flavor and the blueberry muffin flavor. And these are just perfect for a mid morning or mid afternoon snack made with fruits, nuts, and spices. And so these are, um, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, and soy-free, soy-free, and vegan. And so these, I equate them to like the inside of a Fig Newton, that texture, but just so much better. And so these are very filling and very yummy. I have been really loving the Acure Ultra Hydrating Body Wash in the scent Coconut and Pumpkin. I picked this up at Natural Grocers as well. It's been really difficult for me to find a body wash that does not leave my skin feeling very like squeaky clean rubbery. I like something to leave me feeling moisturized. This um, is a thicker consistency. It almost comes out like, like thick, moussey lotion. It lathers nicely and it leaves my skin feeling very, very soft. So it's a very soft, subtle scent. Um, I can't really pick out one specific scent that it smells like, but it comes in a beautiful purple container and I've been really enjoying using this. The next body care item is actually something that Annie sent me, um, which I, she asked if I wanted a body oil because she didn't really like the scent and it is the Kimberly Perry Organics Smooth Sweet Orange and Bay body oil. I have been using this every night before I go to sleep. I've been trying to be very intentional about using a body oil before I go to bed and then also in the morning. In the morning time, I've um, when I remember, I've been using the beauty counter one. So this just has a very citrusy smell, but it's not like too overpowering, just a very soft, warm, citrusy smell, which is something I've I found that I've been really drawn to lately. This is wonderfully relaxing before I go to sleep and so I put it on my arms and on my neck and on my legs and it just is just a very relaxing ritual that I've gotten in the habit of and I've never really, um, I haven't looked into anything else from this brand. So on to some skincare products. First off is the Aster & Bay Cleansing Oil Number 1. I talked about this in my skincare series about how I tried using this in the mornings and a different oil cleanser at night and it was just a little bit too strong for my skin and so I had stopped using it for a little while and once the weather changed and it got a little bit warmer, my skin wasn't as dry, I decided to try a more thin cleansing oil and so the White and Elm Sunflower Cleansing Oil is a thicker consistency and so I just wanted to try out something different. So this has been really great for taking off my makeup at night. It's just a very smooth, silky, gentle formula that I have been really enjoying this month and it smells like purple skittles. I've mentioned that before. It's so weird but that's what it smells like. Something else I've been loving that I've talked about in the review video that I did is the Marie Lynn Skin Luminous Oil. I did a full review on Marie Lynn Skin Care and I will link that down below but this I have been really really loving under my makeup. If y'all watched my channel for a while you know that I use the 100% pure luminous primer like it is going out of style. This I use about four to five drops and I will put it all over my face and it just provides such a nice foundation for makeup. It has a really soft, nutty smell. It absorbs well into your skin and just provides a very, very nice base for makeup. I also enjoy wearing this on no makeup days to provide a little bit more dewiness and luminosity to my skin. The next item that I have is the is a sample, a deluxe sample size, I believe, of the May Lindstrom Skin Blue Cocoon. My wonderful friend Danielle at Cruelty Free Vegan Beauty sent this to me. So at the beginning of March, my skin was breaking out horribly and nothing I was doing was really helping it. And so I had gotten this sample and was kind of holding off on using it. And so I just used it. I went back to very basic skincare, just oil cleansing, toner, and this, and my eye serum. And this really seemed to calm any redness and irritation that I was experiencing. And I was having a lot of breakouts right here on my temples. And this just really calmed those and helped alleviate that. And so 
I don't think I will ever purchase the full size of this because it's $160 and I don't have very acne prone skin anyways, but the times that my skin really was freaking out, this was really helpful and so I may just buy another deluxe sample size. I think I think they have this size on Integrity Botanicals, but I'll have to see. Moving on to makeup, some of these products I've talked about before and so I won't talk at length about them, but the first one is the Fit Glow Vita Active Foundation. I finally bought the full size of this and I've been using it every day since then and I feel like it is just so wonderful for my skin. I'm wearing it today and it just provides this beautiful natural skin like finish. It has amazing ingredients. So I'm going to have a first impressions video coming very soon. Next we have the Antonin Baked Blush in the color Rose. I'm also wearing this today and I have really enjoyed this because it provides a very nice flush of color. You can build up the pigmentation and you get a ton of product in here. And so I've put a good dent in it already. It's already starting to flatten out a little bit, but it is just a beautiful color. So they have samples of this at Integrity Botanicals and also on Aurora Beauty. So if you are thinking about trying this, definitely get a sample first. If you are more minimalistic in your makeup and don't like to have a lot of different products at one time, I think this is a great investment. It is a little bit more pricey, but you get so much product. Then we have a mascara that I actually won in an Instagram giveaway and this is the Zuzu Luxe mascara. I've been using this every day and I've been really enjoying this on work days. When I first got it the formula was a bit wet but it has since gotten a little bit more of a dry formula which is okay with me and it just provides nice length and separation to my lashes. I don't really get a ton of volume but that's okay because for everyday wear I don't want something super voluminous anyway. And it doesn't smudge either, so it doesn't transfer onto my eyelid, and I've just been really enjoying this. I love that you can buy this at the store. I'm pretty sure that My Natural Grocers here has it. And so if you're looking for a mascara and you don't want to spend an arm and a leg on it, then I would highly recommend this. I'm really happy that I won it in a giveaway because I don't know when I would have gotten around to trying it. The last thing I have is the Hint Beauty Lumiere Radiance Powder. I got a sample of this off Aurora Beauty when I ordered my Fit Glow Foundation, and I have been absolutely, absolutely loving this. I think it is such an interesting powder. It is a, I use it as a setting powder, and it just provides a very nice glow to my skin and nice highlight as well. And waiting for someone to have it on sale because it is a little bit more of a pricey product. On the Hint Beauty website, the set that it comes in is $89. You can also buy the jar by itself for $70 and I just can't even justify spending that much money on a setting powder. Like I said, I have been using this as a setting powder to set my foundation and it just gives some added luminosity and glowiness to the skin. Okay guys, so that is it for my March favorites. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what you have been loving this month. And if you're not following me on Instagram, I would love to see you over there as well. My handle is naturally Laura Catherine. I hope y'all had a wonderful month of March and are excited for April. And I will see y'all in my next one. Bye guys.